Good morning, my friends. Liberty Garden coming to you from one of my towns near my house uh, where my vet is. I came to take Stella to the vet today. She hasn't been eating well. I'm not sure why. Uh, but I came to this field behind the vet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to my turn because they don't want you in there because of COVID. And I came to this field and look at all these geese that are out there. All these Canadian geese. There's a bunch of them over there. I don't know if you can appreciate that. There's a bunch of them over here. They're just, they're just in the field, I guess. Getting warmed up a little bit with the sunlight. Beautiful animals. Beautiful birds. Anyway, I thought I'd share this with you guys. You guys up north, you probably see this a lot more often than I do. I normally see geese around here, but they're, they're normally around ponds and stuff. And they don't look as big as they look now. <laughs> I mean, these things are huge. They're, they're, I don't want to spook them because they, they normally get spooked with a dog. Let me go see over here if I can get a little closer to them. Come on, Stella. Oh, sorry for the shakiness of the phone. Look at that. I see they're already, they're already honed in on me. They picked up their heads already. <laughs> Yep, real nice. I don't want to get any closer. I don't want them to fly away. I'll be going to the farm later today. I just thought I brought Stella to, to, to the vet. For about two weeks, she hasn't been eating too well. I give her I give her her food, her dog food that she's been eating always. She doesn't want it. I give her some leftovers. She doesn't want those. I mean, she always eats leftovers. Uh... She's been real, real picky. She, I've been, I've been boiling a couple of uh, chicken legs for her, and she'll eat those, uh, bones and everything, you know. Uh, she likes that stuff. Uh, she also eats a little bit of the cat and cat food, the little cat nibble. She'll, she'll do a little of that. But uh, I don't know. Just let some wait. So I really don't know what was wrong with her. Hey, Stella. How did you like your blood work? Yep, they ran some blood work on her right now. I'm waiting on the results. See what that tells us. Uh, I weighed her right now at the vet and she was she was four pounds lighter than last Wednesday when I brought her in for shots and stuff. Um, last Wednesday I had brought her in. I thought she may have some kind of worms or something that she may have caught at the farm fleas or etc you know tapeworms uh, so they gave me some heart hookworm or heartworm medication which she didn't have any uh, they, because they ran a test on her and also they gave me some flea medication and um and some tapeworm pills but still she's st still not eating very well so right now they they ran some more blood work on her see what they say i don't know she's running a little bit of a fever and uh, like she was 68 pounds last time, probably two pounds below her normal weight or three pounds below her normal weight because she had not been eating. She hasn't been eating since the last time I went to the farm or, or that's two weekends ago. So that would be about two weeks ago. She stopped eating well, I would say. And uh, so I think she's probably lost, all in all, maybe she's probably lost about a good eight pounds since then. Maybe she's doing keto, I don't know. Are you on a diet, Stella? It's the New Year's resolution. Okay, so they ran some, some blood work on Stella and uh, the results came back. She don't, she is anemic. So that's a symptom of something else. Uh, so the vet thinks that she may have a condition called uh, hemolytic autoimmune. The best way he could describe it was is something similar to lupus, where the immune system uh, eats the red cells, I believe, in the body. Uh, so he get, he he ordered a test called the Combs test, Combs test, I believe, and uh, he gave me some cortisone pills just to get her started on for two pills a day of cortisone. So he says that uh, most dogs can recover from it and they don't know really what causes this. So who knows? 
Uh, meanwhile, I stopped at the Mexican meat market here and I got her some um, cow liver that's high in iron. So I'm gonna give her some of that stuff. So hopefully she'll eat that because she's, she's been real finicky about what she eats. So hopefully she'll eat some, some cow liver and get, try to get her iron and her anemia a little bit under control while the cortisone kicks in. But he said that she will be um, very thirsty when once she starts taking the cortisone and um, she'll be thirsty and uh, went to the bathroom quite a bit. And after that, uh, it, it, might, it might be, it, that, that might be the fix for it. So anyway, we'll find out sooner or later. Thanks for watching. Till next time.